So, my name's Jason Mack. I run a company called Mack Sports Management International. Oh. Lucky enough for me, I was blessed to have my father start the business first agent in the UK 42 years ago. And you can imagine what's happened in the industry over the last 42 years, changed dramatically. So after some pestering from one of my good friends behind the camera, this is what makes us sit here, mate. Um, and I think generally speaking, one of the reasons that we wanted to do this sort of thing was it's very, very difficult to differentiate yourself in this industry. We're on our way to London Coney, Arsenal's training ground. Uh, where Lino's going to be signing his first professional contract. There's a lot of people doing it. Some people do a really, really good job. Um, some people not so much. And for families, directors, chairman, you know, it's, it's hard to get a grasp of what people are really like. So uh, when you come up with the idea, um, I wanted to jump at it, but just very apprehensive due to, you know, look, our, our clients' lives are very, very private. So for me, it's... Um, trying to gauge what we do, um, but also keeping it fairly private because that is something that's very important. Plus, I don't like being on camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that, look, I don't know, uh, you know how, how much detail I can really go into, but generally speaking away from that, yeah, we've been going for a long period of time. Uh, we think we've got a niche as an agency. We are quite a bespoke uh, kind of um, agency that focuses on History versus the future probably is the best way that I could describe it. You know, we've obviously done 4,000 transactions over a long period of time in 15 countries worldwide. Um, you know, we have partners across certain different countries, which hopefully you can see one day. Um, we travel a lot, have a couple of guys that are working under me. I'm very blessed to still have some advice around me from some great mentors. And um, yeah, we, we, we're sort of giving it a real go. And uh, recently we've signed some real top youngsters involved in a new market which is um, once again very hard another reason to, to, try, to try and differentiate yourself you have to let people know what you're up to so for me um, you know it's important that people know how we operate what we do the service that we give where we go um, the doors that we open the people that we see um, it's really important so families don't always see that players don't always see that people that we're in the industry don't always see that and generally speaking, it's private. So, you know, you can get an understanding of what we do, um, maybe through, through, through a camera. So who knows where it goes? As people won't know behind the camera, um, I'm one of Jason's very close friends and I have been bang, like he said, about portraying his life and his work ethic towards the, the masses. Um, and I think everyone would agree with me by saying we'd like to see the highs and the lows. Um, how do you feel about portraying that to the public about the low times that you had? Yeah, it's hard, really hard, because once again, it's private, and you know we we can't obviously mention names, etc. But we're looking after some high-profile individuals, some players that haven't made it yet, some players that are young, some players that are, are coming to the end of their careers, not sure what to do yet, and through that period. There's not a lot of agencies out there that have done it. Once again, you know, we're quite lucky. We have players that are coaches, managers, and players that haven't even made it yet. So through that period of, on an average, eight good years of the game, but sometimes 15 years of career, sometimes 20, sometimes five, sometimes players don't make it. So it's a guarantee of high and lows. You know, even this week, we've come up with a situation where, you know, a player's struggling personally, uh, doesn't know what to do. Luckily enough, I have the relationship with him that he reaches out. We have to sort that situation. It is what it is. You know, it's, um, it's something that it's, it's never a burden for us. You know, we, we portray a 24 seven approach. That's why we don't sign hundreds of players and that's not what we ever want to do. We want to be very specific. So it does come with highs and that's why you have to enjoy them and it also comes with lows. And the lows, you have to try and bring the players back to where they, where they need to be. So it's, it's hard to then open that up. You know, some players would never want to open up, but for me, I can give you an idea um, of the injury itself, uh, of the industry itself, should I say? And um, yeah, it's a it's a hard, a hard, hard industry. So going forward, what are you going to show us? So um, lots of different things. Hopefully, I think that first and foremost, we want to 
show what we are as a company, how we operate as a company, and then what we do as a company. Um, you know, there's so many different things that I think people maybe don't know about what we do. And then when we're talking to people, you can give them an idea, but until you actually do it, um, you don't have an idea. So that could be anything from moving a player, could be buying a car, could be buying a house, um, could be meeting an IFA, could be um, traveling Europe, meeting my partner, getting involved in a transaction, walking into a football club, walking into a scout's office, being around your client, going to the house, pitching to a player, and no one really has an idea. And that makes for a 24-7 industry, which doesn't ever stop. So we know how important social media is um, to everybody, and it's a yeah. part of our everyday society. So is this the platform that you're gonna try and reach out onto? Yeah, I really hope so. Um, I think that, <laughs> You know, I've actually had a few conversations with people quite high in the industry about this and um, they've given me some real valuable advice. And I think the main thing I've took out of it is you have to show who you are. Um, so I'm really hoping that this can go somewhere, but mainly for the reason that people get an idea that when they're stepping into the world of MSMI, that they already have an idea, which is very hard to portray when you're one of 5, 10, 15, 20 agents that are trying to approach a player. And through social media, I really think we can give people an idea. So I'm sure through the videos that are going to come in the future, there is going to be some negativity and some positivity. Yeah. Um, is this something you could take in your stride? And how will you deal with yeah, it? Yeah, um, I think, look, everything gets thrown at you in this industry. And I have to take on a lot of problems and a lot of those are confidential, which I don't talk about. And I have to get up every day and be positive. And I think that that's why you have to stay on a level playing field. Yeah, it's gonna come with negativity, but so what? You know, there'll be other people that wanna try and do that in our industry. You know, people will either be, you know, happy about what I'm doing or they won't. And I, you know, as an agent, I think that generally speaking, as you know, the, mo the main reason is I've, I've been apprehensive about it. And if there's negativity that comes with it, that's the highs and lows of the, uh, of the game, generally speaking. Not only I have the highs and lows, but imagine what the players go through. One minute there were 60,000 people you know, playing out there, the next minute they're not. Or they get their professional contract, then they get released. You know, there's lots of different things that they go through that I'm happy to handle. This is a minor. <laughs> Uh, like I said, like I've known you, you're one of my very close friends and the, what your work ethic is something to behold um, and yeah, from my perspective I can't wait to film you on this journey and I'm sure the masses that are watching this um, will love the insight into what goes into being a successful football agent and uh, yeah, we wish you very well on the journey. And, uh, I'll need it. <laughs> I think it's going to be an incredible insight. And uh, yeah, I look forward to it. Thank you, mate.